these platforms have offered me an opportunity to take my work global. I went from working on radio and then moving to digital platforms. A colleague of mine actually introduced me to freelance platforms. I had just left one station trying to move to another. He walked me through what Fiverr was. We had video meeting sessions where he would explain the interface to me. So when I was able to understand how to navigate that platform, I'd done a couple of jobs. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, are there more things like Fiverr? So I use Voices.com. I use Upwork. In Nigeria, there's an, an African-owned one that is called Terra Work. Volquens, Voice123, there is Voice Bunny. I like each of these platforms for different reasons. Some due to the ease, some due to the frequency of work, some due to the quality of payment. On these platforms, payments for services offered, I have found to be a lot more. I was very happy to find that like, my services were worth the amount of money I thought. I have my own website now and then hopefully in the future, I would have a direct link with clients and not necessarily only through platforms. The internet is a great place to find work because I mean, you could basically just be in your house, just chipping away at the mic and somebody in another country is like, oh, this is exactly what I've been looking for. I manage my 24 hours by scheduling a lot. Uh, after doing my devotions and praying, I would work out after breakfast, I do vocal exercises. COVID positively affected my voiceover in some way. I was able to create a makeshift booth and purchase my equipment. This is the inside of my booth. The microphone is here. When the lockdown was in place, everybody couldn't go to the studios for auditions. Once you just said, I have a home studio, it was a yes, 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 yes. The good thing about working on platforms for me has to be the flexibility and the bad thing has to be the flexibility. Because every single day, your employers change. Today I'm working with a Nigerian, tomorrow I'm working with someone from Bangladesh, next tomorrow I'm working with someone from Miami. Today you have a job, but tomorrow you may not necessarily have a job. I was ill most recently and I couldn't work. If I didn't have money in savings for emergencies, it just meant that once I stopped working, I stopped earning and there was no form of insurance whatsoever. For working online, you have to constantly keep replying and replying, especially Fiverr. When you reply late, it affects your response rate, which I have a problem with. Considering the fact that sometimes you're not close to your phone and life is actually happening, uh, I had audition for jobs daily because it keeps me on my toes and it also increases my chances of getting jobs on these platforms. I can create plots to visually identify patterns. There are lots of other women I meet on these platforms and it warms my heart to see. Most times they're very welcoming or if you have um, any cause for interaction, it's always great. I have had no form of assault or abuse or harassment on any of the platforms I have worked on so far. Some people are quite skeptical about maybe leaving the production or the really technical bits of the occupation to Women, somewhere in the back of my mind, I always have this crusader type mindset like, you represent women the entirety. So if I have a project, I deliver excellent on it, just so nobody else says next time that, oh, I gave a woman this particular tech project and she wasn't able to nail it. I learned a lot of skills from the University of YouTube. I also use platforms like Udemy, Coursera. My immediate family is very proud of the work I do and they understand the work I do. <laughs> Sometimes they see auditions online and they're like, yeah, I think you're a good fit for this and they send you the link. However, in the, in the grand society of Nigeria, many people don't believe you can't make an honest living on the internet. And once you say you're working online, it's, it's seen as code for fraud or scam or shady business. I do have a side hustle. K Natural is a natural skincare and hair care product that I started almost three years ago. My recently completed 200 liter shea butter making machine. I travel vlog, I have been to 26 out of the 36 Nigerian states. What helps me is having a team of like-minded creatives. I have producers, I have editors, I have animators, I have videographers. So we collaborate on projects. So it's just about building community. That for me has helped keep me afloat. In the advent of digitalization, being a young African woman means there is a greater picture and it's beyond just your immediate community or country. I have no doubt that African women will rise, will thrive and leave imprints all over the world.